From wine to wine ice cream? <laughs> yep, the folks over at Mercer's Dairy have created a unique way to serve up their famous ice cream that they've been scooping up for generations of customers since the 1950s. In 2006, the nine farm families who own Mercer's Dairy mastered the art of blending ice cream with wine. Is this fresh from the... Uh... Brand new, fresh, just made for you. Mmm. Red raspberry chardonnay. That is absolutely nothing like I expected. Isn't that you That is fabulous. All right, before I ask you any more questions, let's have one more bite. Okay. This is just Listen, like soft. It's a dirty job, but somebody has to do it. Mm. This was your whole brainchild, wasn't it? Yes. How did you ever come up with the idea of putting wine with ice cream? Well, uh, we were working with the Wine and Grape Foundation and Jim Trees right. in the Pride in New York and going to all these events. It was County Cooperative Extension as a group. Yeah, I'm listening. And pouring wine on ice cream. Uh, and as we talked about it, I thought, well, I wonder if we could make it, make wine ice cream. So I talked with Jim Treeside about that, and he said, you know, that there was certain wines he thought would work better. So we kind of got that worked out. And then I come back and talked with our formulation person, Jim Durway. And it was uh, quite a process. It's a secret recipe. Uh, the issues with the recipe were freezing the product and keeping the alcohol content where it is. Jim told me he didn't know if it could be done. And I said, oh, I think we need to try. So we had a lot of fun perfecting this. I mean, you sit around and you pour wine and you eat, and then you pour more wine and then you eat. It's not a bad thing to learn how to make. Our product is 12% is butter fat. Um, and then there's milk solids involved, which give it texture. Uh, the sugars are at a specific level. Uh, stabilization systems play a major role. Gary and Susan Burris are among the collective of dairy farmers behind Mercer's Dairy. Providing their milk to Mercer's for ice cream has been a way to keep the family farm and milking business up and running, as well as being part of a new blending of New York State industries. So you give this wonderful quality milk with a good butter fat, and all of a sudden somebody comes up with this idea of, let's add wine to this. <laughs> what did you think of that idea? I was for it. Yeah, you were? Very novel idea, yeah. So when you took your first taste, what did you think? Oh, it's awesome. Well, the Riesling is my favorite. So you take certain flavors of our ice cream and we, and we either ripple or mix the wine in, and it comes out with a different characteristic of a taste, and it's, it's awesome. Tell me a little bit about, you know, the kind of cows you have here and the, and the quality of milk that you produce. Well, we have Holstein cows. Um, we try to keep them clean and comfortable. A, a clean, dry, comfortable cow is a happy cow, and happy cows give us quality milk. That's our, that's our motto. And I've always wondered, you know, the, whatever you feed a cow, does that have an impact on the quality of the milk? I believe so. Quality in, quality out. How can you judge what kind of butter fat you'll get? Is it, again, is it from the feed um, or is it? It's from the feed. It, uh, the weather has a big, in the, if a cow stress, like in the hot weather, their butter fat will go down somewhat. Mm. So we do everything we can to keep it cool and nice and breezy in here so they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. We're averaging about 9,500 pounds of milk a day. Wow. So that's 19,000 pounds every two days. This is a baby Holstein who's only, come here, come here, three days old, really. She's only been on this earth for three days. And when she grows up, she's gonna produce some of the best ice cream you've ever had. And then Roxy and her partners are going to flavor it with Riesling, Chardonnay, and Merlot. We buy all our wine in New York State. Everything in this product is New York State that can be. You have to be 21 to eat it or to purchase it. And we've been doing the regular ice cream and making it work, but the wine has really been the fun thing and we think it's gonna be our cash cow. <laughs> Love that. Cash cow. Yeah, got it. 